Here's the latest uh, project in the shack here. A fine old Drake T4 XC transmitter. And um, this one's in pretty good shape, real good shape as a matter of fact. Had a couple of issues that were pretty easy to fix up. And uh, I hope you can see the front panel here is in real good shape. The top has had at some point or another someone has mounted a uh, box fan over the final cage. There's a couple extra holes there. But it's not bad, you know, for the for the year it's got a couple a couple dings on the cabinet, but the front panel is very clean. Uh, let me pause this. I'll show you the inside here. Hang on. Okay, here's the inside. Pretty stinking clean in there. Here's the new uh, AC Hamfest multi-section filter capacitor. And the infamous um, upper and lower sideband crystal filters which in this uh, transmitter seem to be in very good shape. And I'll give you a little demo of that here in a minute. So everything's looking good. I have the bottom screwed on so I'm not going to take that off. But anyway, let me pause this for a second. Okay, we're back. Got the cover back on. And aside from that uh, big filter multi-section electrolytic capacitor, here's uh, the rest of the damages on this particular one. Parafinal, tra uh, tra almost said transistors, parafinal tubes, a uh, transmit mixer tube, number 47 lamp, and a crystal for the 40 meter band. And uh, that's all it took to bring this one uh, back into really good shape, I think. So, I've got it uh, tuned up into a dummy load right now on 80 meters. And um, let me see if I can get a shot of the old watt meter. By the way, the digital dial for the R4B when plugged into the injection port of the transmitter works just fine as it should okay I don't know how well that is going to be in focus but just to give you an idea here I'm going to go into the tune mode and uh, advance the transmit drive so there we go, 100 plus watts, easy, 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 with not much drive. If you look at the front panel here, it's only at about the 10 or 11 o'clock position on the gain control. And we get a real nice plate current dip on uh, all bands, tubes are well neutralized. We went with Sylvania brand tubes, which is, I think, what originally came. So, pretty good. The uh, story on the transmitter is 100 watts plus on all bands except 10 meters. And what did I get on 10? I got um, 75 or 80 watts on 10 but still excellent plate current dip and um, you know I went through an alignment and that's the best it's gonna do I guess with those particular tubes in it but it puts out the snot on all the other bands especially 75 and 40 and 20 alright let me pause this for a second and I'll give you one uh, quick demo of what the uh, transmitted audio on sideband might sound like. The only other thing that kind of spoils this cosmetically 
is it's missing the insert, the aluminum insert, which was originally glued on. That's long since passed, but I imagine it'd be pretty easy to replace that. In fact, I think they're available from uh, maybe uh, HFN's website. Anyway, let me pause this and get it set up to show you what the transmit audio looks like. Okay, for a little test of the transmit audio, we're tuned in to uh, 3743 kilohertz, 80 meters. I'm into a dummy load and I'm all tuned up. I have the K3 with uh, a clip lead for an antenna, basically, and a little attenuation thrown in as the receiver. Um, I don't know what that little spur is right there. But uh, the transmitter is not even keyed, so it's not from that. Anyway, I've slowed the averaging way, way down on the uh, P3 display. The uh, gain calibration is nowhere near being correct, so we're just looking for relative shape of the pass band here. So I'm on lower sideband. Let me grab a mic, make a transmission, and you can see what it looks like. All right, hello, test, one, two, three, four, WA3 UCR. We're kicking up about uh, 30 watts or so on the, uh, on the watt meter into the dummy load. And this is what lower sideband looks like. Um, don't pay any attention to the amplitude, it's the uh, pass band shape. So, looks uh, pretty level, pretty, all things considered, not bad. Okay, so that was lower sideband. Now let me switch to upper sideband. The shaded area, by the way, is uh, about 3 kilohertz. Okay, so here we go on upper sideband. Hello, test 123, WA3 Uniform Charlie Radio. WA3 UCR testing. Upper sideband with a T4XC over. Okay, so that didn't look too bad. I've had it on the air and gotten reports from guys that I know. And they've all pretty much given it uh, the thumbs up. So, that's a Drake T4XC. Nice looking uh, transmitter. And uh, this one works really well. So, somebody can pair that up with a nice Drake receiver and make a heck of a station. Anyway, that's it for now. Keep on tinkering. See you later.